The topic of uh, our presentation here at the AHA was uh, blood pressure and norepinephrine levels um, in uh, healthy adults after energy drink intake. So increasing number of adults consume energy drinks and uh, interestingly also more and more uh, cases or people come to emergency departments with uh, new symptoms likely related to energy drinks. So we were looking at uh, different cardiovascular responses, specifically we were looking at blood pressure and uh, uh, norepinephrine levels which is a stress hormone uh, and uh, association uh, with uh, energy drinks. We uh, selected 25 healthy young uh, people uh, who had no cardiac disease, were on no medications and were non-smokers, uh, no cardiovascular risk factors um, again. Um, we uh, did a uh, randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled crossover study. Um, so one day uh, our participants had an energy drink, commercially available energy drink, and uh, the other day in random order they received a placebo or a sham drink. We found in our study that uh, uh, blood pressure significantly increases uh, by um, on average about 6% uh, after energy drink intake compared to uh, systolic blood pressure increase by 3% um, uh, after placebo drink. We also found a striking increase in norepinephrine levels after drinking one can of energy drink by seven, almost 74% compared to 30% uh, um, uh, by placebo drink. We believe that uh, people taking or consuming energy drinks should be careful when taking them, uh, especially um, people who may have uh, cardiovascular disease may have risk factors, whether it is uh, presence of hypertension or uh, different arrhythmias or structural heart disease. We know there are multiple energy drinks on the market. Um, they have different ingredients, frequently not fully listed. Um, we studied one commercially available energy drinks and uh, um, it really depends, I believe, on the uh, ingredients in these drinks. We know that uh, more than 50% of college students roughly uh, are consuming energy drinks regularly. The other important thing is um, uh, college students involved in sports, even just pickup sports, have been shown to uh, have a prevalence of 70% of using uh, uh, energy drinks irregularly. Um, furthermore, it's important to also note, as we all know, is that energy drinks are frequently consumed with alcohol, with smoking, with recreational drugs such as cocaine, and uh, these uh, settings may uh, even lead to worse outcomes, possibly. There's lots of unknown about uh, energy drinks and cardiovascular uh, responses, so we would like to build on uh, we would like to build on further on the uh, findings that we have uh, uh, obtained so far. We hope that uh, this area um, of research will continue to grow, and we find out more about the safety of these drinks for uh, for public.